All right, guys, so again, I've been getting some heat on Facebook via social media to put out a biceps workout. So my take on biceps is one, mine are tiny. They've never grown no matter what I've done. And two, they don't matter at all for function. They're 100% cosmetic. Curls are for girls, couldn't be truer. Um, there are some cool things you can do. And so what I'm gonna do is part of my day five workout, which I've never made a video for, is I'm gonna shoot uh, some bicep lifts into it and incorporate it into the workout. So again, day five is the, not a mandatory workout day. I, I recommend it for the weeks you're feeling spunky and, and have energy at the end of the week. Um, just uh, a lot of times you start to crave working out. And so the day five is just like an all encompassing, head to toe, hit, hit everything you feel like hitting, anything that's been neglected during the week. Um, just bomb it, finish strong. But make sure you take two days a week of solid rest from weight training. Your body needs to recover. You gotta let it grow, you gotta be patient. Um, I'm excited, I got some new Summit apparel, new train shirts, they're in the store. Check them out, we got a whole bunch of colors and styles of those. And uh, hope you enjoy the day five biceps film that I just threw together. Okay, so the first workout of day five, I usually do Romanian deadlifts. Four sets of 10 to 15, weight's not important, forms everything. Straight legs, pivot at the lower back, squeeze it off tight at the top. This will stretch your arms, your back, your traps, your legs, your torso, just gets everything loose and get some blood flowing. Nice compound workout to uh, start off the day. And uh, do as many as you can with as much as you can, just keep your form perfect. Next lift is a uh, barbell shrug. Uh, hand shoulder width apart. Let them let the weight pull your hands to the ground. Pull with your traps. You're not. It's not a shoulder lift. You're pulling it with the middle of your back. With your arms straight. Build your grip. Um, Form is very important. Keep your back straight. All you're doing is just slowly isolating and contracting that muscle. Now the palms are back on the first set. Second group, I do palms forward. This hits your biceps a little harder, brings the weight forward towards your shoulders and hits your traps from a different angle. A one really important trick to just making your muscles grow is to just diversify the grip patterns and the angles and the stances and stuff, just to kind of mix things up and make your body work for it a little bit more. If it's getting too easy, there's probably something you need to change. The next ones are an oblique workout. Take a heavy weight, feet close together and you just lean from the hips and you pull with your opposite um, oblique muscles. You're not pulling with the weight side, it's the off side that's actually doing a contraction. Don't overdo it, uh, just pivot enough that you stretch it and then rotate sides. Again, four sets, 10 to 15 reps, just like everything else. We're going to get blood flow and pump in there, form is everything. Now do some biceps. These are barbell biceps, 45 pound bar. Just to warm up, I'll usually do a set of real clean, you know, 20 to 30 reps, get the blood flowing. I'll add tens on there. Keep your elbows tight against your uh, oblique muscles, pivot at the elbows. Try not to swing it too much. You can see momentum kind of kicks in there a little bit. All you're really trying to do is just drive the blood, drive the flex into your biceps. Um, I just bumped the weight up there with another 10. This is my third set. You're always going to four sets of 12 to 15 again. Biceps are small muscles, so the weight's not important. All you're working on is really just getting a good flexion in there. And uh, you'll feel this in your torso, your back, your legs. It takes a lot of work to, to balance the weight that far apart. I call these hangers. 10 to 15 reps, four sets. Get those legs as high as you can. In and out, works your obliques, works your hips, your rotators. Whole body's gonna get cranked on this one. After you superset that, the next bicep set. Put the elbows out in front of your body and pull them up and out so you're hitting them from a super wide angle. Uh, your hands should be about a foot farther apart than the last rep. Uh, set with the barbell, obviously. Four sets, 10, 15 reps, just get them pumped. Drive the muscle in there, flex those little biceps as much as you can. Okay, now we're doing ab rollers again. This time we're using the barbell with those big 45-pound uh, plates on it. Look, my grip's a lot wider than we do on chest day, so it's the same motion. Again, abs, core, serratus muscles, arms, triceps, neck, back. Every muscle in your body has to work to stabilize and contract that motion. Uh, I just like using the barbell to keep mixing it up. Okay, these are called hammer curls. 
and all you're doing is starting at the hips, bringing the weight across your body, forward, try not to swing it, smooth controlled motion. All you're doing is just driving the weight. Now this hits the top of your forearms and also your biceps from a different angle. Uh, again, weight's not important, just form, hit four sets, 12 to 15 reps, and just drive the blood into your forearms and uh, build your grip strength. Okay, so these are toe ups, it's kind of tricky to figure it out. Push the bar up on your thighs, drive it up like a bench, hands just outside of your shoulders, and then you bring your shins up and your butt off the ground, opposite hands rotating. These are actually not very difficult. They're really good to build balance and stability, but you should be able to knock out four to four sets of 20 to 30 reps pretty easily. Uh, don't do too much weight on the uprights because there's a lot of movements you got to do to get the bar up there. But just drive your hips up, get your butt off the ground. That'll help crank the top end of your abs and um, knock out clean form, legs straight. Again, pivoting at the hips. Your stomach's doing all the work to pull and balance and stabilize your body. It's going to help a ton with a pack arm. The last bicep curls I do, they're just little bend down crunches, keep your hands tight together. You're kind of in a catcher squat that's going to help your core and your quads, but I like doing this because if you don't have a, a preacher rack, you can just do it off of your, your thighs there. Super lightweight, four sets, 12, 15, your body should be burning up by now. You're just trying to finish them off for the end of the day. Last core lift, these are called uh, steering wheels, that's a 25 pound dumb, or, uh, flat weight and you're just pivoting at the hips and swinging it across your body. I like to crisscross my feet as I go too. Kind of gives you some more movement in there. It's a huge core workout. As you can see, my shoulders, my neck, everything's working together. A quick forearm workout, elbows up, parallel 90 degrees and just swing those weights uh, left to right, full pivots. You're doing an all grip, all forearms. It's an awesome way to just finish everything off. It actually contracts your biceps too, so. Okay, so I hope you guys enjoyed that film in my bright orange Hunter, Hunter orange tank top. Um, if you have any more questions on training, lifting, cardio, diet, nutrition, I'll keep cranking up uh, videos just like this every week. Um, also subscribe to my YouTube channel. That really helps me because you're gonna get the videos the second I post them, so. Uh, if you have any specifics though, I got a lot, I've written a lot on the blog and everything. Uh, go to zachgriffith.com and I appreciate you for uh, staying tuned. Thanks. Yes, sir. Dangerous. 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 Dangerous.